Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to talk about Buddy Press. Uh, this is WordPress plugin that turns your WordPress installation into a semi social network or you can say fully controlled social network from your WordPress dashboard. In order to turn your WordPress CMS into a social network all you have to do is install this plugin you can either download or install it from your dashboard this plugin is very easy to install and you don't have to do any special settings in order to get to work unless of course you are doing some local production for WordPress themes or you're doing some other manipulations in such case you have to do some of the changes you have to change some settings and in that case it is possible otherwise you can get WordPress to work within few seconds and there is nothing for you to configure set etc uh, so what I'm going to do is install the plugin from dashboard and then I'm going to show you how to configure it so that you can start your own social network on your own blog or any other use you have for the WordPress. So first thing you have to do is go to the plugins tab, click on add new. Then you have to type WordPress. It will show you body press here you have to click install now then answer this pop-up it will take few seconds depending on your internet connection you can also keep this step by directly copy and pasting the body press folder into your plugins folder but for that you have to download from official site here and then unzip the package that you get and then copy it to your local server or production server as you can see I have WordPress 1.8.1 installed right now and it will add few options like groups and there is also setting for WordPress here in settings tab you have to go to WordPress as you can see I have everything set up already that is because I have my permalinks set up at custom post name if your uh, permalinks are set at default then WordPress will ask you to change these permalinks. In that case, you have to change to post name, numeric month, or anything else except default. If you do that, then just save the changes and go ahead. After that, check your website and see if all of the links from your blog are working. In some cases, like say production server where you are using bitnami, xamp or lamp chances are there that these links may not work you may not get to the specific path because you have to adjust http conf file you can find that file in apache folder inside that apache folder go to conf folder and find httpd conf once you do that make sure the wordpress setup is configurable via a setting called allow overwrite if this is set to none then you have to change it back to all inside this file you have plenty of sentences or say queries like this this is for directory some other for some other use 
for let's say links or something like that scheme links or something but this is what you have to change allow overwrite to all right you can see that here is another directory where there is option allow overwrite this is for document root this is for directory and you just have to type do the control F and then check allow override find and see if it is set to none you have to change to all if you want to make sure that your links are working fine if you have any 404 or 403 related errors then you have to check this file for uh, allow override and that way your local XAMPP LAMP or VAMP server will be able to adjust with the permalink changes from WordPress dashboard. Once you do that, come back to WordPress, no sorry, WordPress settings. Here you have components tab where you have extended profiles option already checked. And there is account settings option checked, activity streams, user groups. You can also have site tracking option where you have to you have option for recording each and every post and comments I don't think that's required right now so I will go with the default and after that I will move to pages tab you can see I have option to modify each and every tab for example activity streams user group members I can add new page or save the current or view for example like this as you can see I have members here which is only one right now it's me and there is, there is activity stream user groups there is register page activate page you can create it or save it if you have any existing right now you have only option for creating it click on new page and then create register and activate page and then save the changes you need to check that if your setup has additional tabs for example right now we don't have it because we don't have menu setup so we have to set menu here and we have to add groups and members activity let's add it to forum then we have to save the menu and after that we have to go back to the page refresh it as you can see I have groups members activity all the activities here you can also check members which is working groups uh, we will take a look at these options before that I have showed you how to work with these menu items so that you can add your own tabs in the menu as I'm using Genesis framework my current setup looks like this now let's see the options here is the body press and it gave me options like groups activity there are also forums topics which are from BB press which is also activated right now I'm going to enable groups right so here are the groups which are empty let's create another groups as you can see groups require name and description so let's see programmers group all the programmers gather yeah and let's create this group I have to check those settings privacy settings this is public group yes 
there is option for private and hidden group only available for register users and who can access it all group members okay fair enough after that I have forum create discussion forum to allow member yes next avatar you can upload avatar for your group so let's say I have some XYZ file and I'm going to have it here as you can see it doesn't show much bigger or say like this button but it is more of vertical with limited horizontal space I'm going to skip this by clicking on finish yes I have this group programmers all the programmers gather here and there is the group and there is activity too that I have created this group members one admin here public group you can also have forum here and it will be added when I make the change so let's get back here and I have clicked groups programmers let's also take a look at activity yes as you can see I have created my group and activities here uh, likewise if any other person who has the credentials creates a group or post thread it will be shown here and you can report it as spam delete reply or edit from here each person who is going to use this social network using this WordPress and BuddyPress combo is going to see the activity this way or there will be updates in front page if they are set like that right now in forums or what's going on with let's say errors incoming links so, okay let's leave it uh, after that yes we have forums too which we can use as you can see there is also a forum here which is in forum link there you go you'll be able to access WordPress forums with the help of forum button you just have to add that forum link with the help of appearance menus and inside that you have to add link to your forum in your case that would be different and you can see there is forum which I can access I can create demo thread with the help of which other members can post for example create new topic leave this page I can create topic and it will be posted in programmers C++ C++ users publish and you will see it creates a forum right now it is showing 404 error because I have to check the link view topic Oops. Uh -huh, page you are looking by searching ok leave it for now we will type normal preview changes publish ok then all topics forum ok 
And then let's check it here. Okay. It's showing error because body press version and BB press version are in conflict. As you can see, I have BB press 2.0.4, which is in conflict with 2.1.8.1 of body press. I should be upgrading, but right now I'm not doing that because there are some sort of errors with BB press setup. Let's say in your case there won't be any because it has successfully managed to post the thread. I'm not sure why it is not showing for me. That's it. And we have covered most of the body press related things. If you need any help or related to body press, then just click on support from official body press site and ask your questions it will be shown over here and someone from body press community or from group of official developers or support team will reply to your question <coughs> I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you